Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your monthly read for August. I'm trying to get on top of them. It looks like this read is for Libra. Libra, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, I'm happy to have you on board. If you're new, welcome. I am going to use the Everyday Witch Tarot for your reading and I will pull an oracle card from Kim Cran's Animal Spirit Deck. Um, I just want to say, remember the readings are general. If they don't fit, don't try to wear them. They're not yours. Um, remember the readings do flip-flop. They go all over the place. Sometimes it's your energy. Sometimes it's the other person's energy. So be sensible. Um, I think that's all I have to say. Okie dokie. All right. Oh, we have the Seven of Wands coming out first. Now, the Seven of Wands, it's a card that talks about standing your ground, being defensive, sticking up for yourself here. Um, you have a lot of people coming at you here and you have to prove yourself. So something is creating an environment where you have to stand up for yourself. Now, there is the Ace of Cups behind this. So this has something to do with love of something. It could be you sticking up for yourself in your work too. Um, or for something that you really love and respect and you're sticking up for it here. Um, ah, okay, so it could be a person too. So you've got a little bit of a defensive energy towards a king of cups. Okay, and a new chance with a king of cups. Yep, waiting for your ships to come in. Okay, this seems to be a very uh, similar story for the Libras here. Um, this is about having a second chance with someone who appears to be a Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, a second chance at love. Um, this card here sort of throws me a little bit because I think, why are you trying to defend yourself about this person when they're clearly offering you love here? Um, so we'll have a look and see why that is because you do feel a bit defensive. So it's good to know why you have defensive energy. If this person's coming back around again, it's possible that's why. Okay, we do have the sun coming up first, which is absolutely beautiful because that says there's a lot of joy and happiness in this situation. Um, two of swords, so you have a decision to make here, a decision you're not wanting to make because you're blindfolded here. Um, and it means hurting somebody or cutting something out here, very much so. We are possibly talking about someone here who is coming across as a king of wands. So this person could be a fire sign who's got his emotions totally in balance, or it could be a water sign who's a leader and very attractive. Either way, he's both strong in both in his chart, water and fire. He's offering you a new start here with this fool card. So you're being given an opportunity for a new start. But not only are you defensive, you can't seem to make your mind up which way to go here. Okay, and he's rushing in with the truth. He wants to tell you something here. He's very, very um, anxious, wants to get it out of the way, wants to express something here. Okay, he could have been going through a lot of worry. You could have been thinking about this a lot as well. You are facing each other here. Um, so it's possible that you've had some sort of separation that's caused you both heartbreak here. Okay, something has to be exposed though. Someone's holding back on this relationship. Could be that they're holding back feelings. But there's definitely someone not expressing themselves in this card. Two of Pentacles. This reading is full of decisions. Two of Pentacles talks about balancing a decision. The Hermit talks about taking time out to balance some sort of decision that you need to make here. But because you've got the Two of Swords and that Seven of um, Wands there, this is something you're feeling very defensive about. Whoever this person is, I think they may have left you. They want to work with it now. So you've got somebody coming in wanting to work with you on something. This time they want to put an effort in. When I look at this, I think they didn't want to put an effort in last time. 
Okay, seven of wands, that's your way you're feeling defensive. Ace of cups being offered by a king of cups. We have the judgment card talking about a second chance. Three of wands talking about um, looking out towards the future. You have the high priestess there as well. So this is about um, somebody using their intuition here, somebody revealing secrets, somebody revealing a truth. Um, I feel like something's happened here where the two of you have been separated through some sort of, could have been a mutual thing, could have been one person's walked away from the other person because they weren't being honest with them, weren't owning up to something, weren't owning something. This person's now coming back because they want to work on something they didn't want to work on before or they couldn't work on before. They may not have told you why that was by the look of things because you're being very defensive here as to work whether you cut this person out and leave them behind. I feel there's some sort of apology here and you're balancing out whether to give this person a second chance or not. They want to take a leap of faith. They're very confident that they can make this work this time. You're not so sure. Now, remember, the reading can flip-flop here. But I definitely see you trying to balance out a decision here to give this a fair crack of the whip is what they're saying. So fair go, fair go. So you're trying to balance out whether it is worth giving this person another chance or not. But they are definitely coming in to work on something that they weren't prepared to work on before for whatever reason. But they should tell you this time why that is. Because I think they've gone and not let you know why they didn't want to work on this before. So if you've offered love to somebody in the past and they have said no, they might want to come back and work on it now. Very nice. We have the cosmic egg coming out here. I haven't read this one before and it's down with the spirituality cards at the end. I've seen it. Golden egg. Okay. Black egg, golden egg. Oh, wow. How hard can this be to find? Sea serpent, phoenix. Nope. Phoenix. Sea serpent. Dragon. I'm going to get to know these soon, I promise. The golden egg. Ah, oh, it's one of the chakras. Black egg. Then the unicorn. Cosmic egg. Here we go. This is about completion and harmony. The infinite within the finite. The cosmic egg is the final card in the journey of the animal spirit deck and it represents the unfolding of cosmic consciousness. This state emerges after we have tread the path for quite some time and through self-effort and grace we experience self-realisation. A sense of contentment and oneness spontaneously arise within us and the veils of our self-limited beliefs are limited when the essence of the cosmic egg has not been activated we may feel that we will never get there or that we'll travel alone, disconnected from others. Even if our encounter with this card is brief, appearing as a momentary glimmer or flash of interconnectedness, its potent energy stays with us. The cosmic egg is a remedy for the fragmentation of modern life. It's through the power of this card that we are reminded of the cosmic contract written at the beginning. We hold on to life and life holds on to us. The journey is complete, but it does not end. Nice. So there you go. Cosmic consciousness. I want to read so much more into that card, but I would be here forever. But I really believe this is something to do with your greater journey on the planet. Thanks, Libra.